There's some pan uh, panels you may not have seen. These are external to Grafana, and these are actually some things that I found very useful. Um, this one in particular is called the polystat panel. So a query against a data source will allow you to create a <clears throat> polygon per uh, metric received. So this is a, <clears throat> let me see if I can get this up. So this is a simple query into, uh, into our ops Kubernetes cluster and this is data coming out of Cortex. So one simple query is gonna return all the names of the pods that are in this namespace. So instead of having to create single stat panels that says what's this pod doing, what's this pod doing, what's this pod doing, this will give you an overview <coughs> of metrics about the entire pods. So that's, it will auto generate and auto layout. There's um, thresholding included with this and composites included with this. So I'm gonna jump to a, another plugin. So this is a um, polystat that is hitting a Sensu data source and getting the state of clients that I have running uh, at home. And that gives you a, a, uh, an indicator with thresholds to say, um, what's the state of this device? This is not fancy right now, I had to whip it up real quick. Um, to give a better idea of how this, this thing works, you can, I have a Pi sensor that's uh, DHT22 giving me uh, temperature, humidity, and relative humidity. So um, I have a, I'm into cryptocurrency and my mining area is very sensitive to heat, so I like to see how hot it is in there. Or if you even I can walk in there, sometimes it's like 120 Fahrenheit inside there, so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll know when there's a, when there's a problem. It was, it was interesting with this particular panel was, I actually have bands that are my alert threshold. So if I have, if it's uh, 110 degrees Fahrenheit and above, it's a problem. But if it's also 60 Fahrenheit and below, it's a problem. So I need, I have a middle band that's good. If it's 60 and below, it means it's not running. So let's <laughs> say I don't have any heat being generated. So this is a query that, this is actually uh, Influx as the data source, and it's simply pulling out temperatures, humidity, et cetera. So now if I go back, I did upgrade to Corona 6 on this one. And uh, there's tool tips, so that gives you the current value um, and also the timestamp of the sample. Um, this here is a composite metric. So what I've done is say those three, three things above represent an environment. So I really just want to know what's the state of an environment. So if the temperature's high or the temperature's good, humidity's good, it's green. That's for, for me, that means I'm good. So this, uh, this polystat is set up to take those three metrics and say, um, Am I over this, over this temperature? Am I over this humidity level or below it? And give you the worst state possible. So then your tool tips will reflect it with uh, red, yellow, blue. You can customize the colors as you want. And the uh, next spot is to, to only show, uh, say this represents uh, 50 metrics that are being collected for a server or a virtual machine or some pods, memory, CPU, process, running, any of that stuff. It'll only show you the things that are bad. So, um, and you notice that it's cycling through the, um, cycling through the metrics. And the other piece is you can have it click through. You can, so if this is your dashboard, and you say, okay, well, I wanna see my humidity, I just click on it and it drills down into another uh, dashboard. And similar for this, let's go back. And I click on this one and it takes me into the graphs for my uh, Pi sensors. So it's a good way to give you a landing dashboard that you can roll up a whole bunch of metrics and say, what's the health of my service? and then have a click down, a click through that takes you down to details. So 
kind of a, a knock view of things that says, hey, this is, I'm running a thousand machines, but uh, there's 10 services, so you might see 10 things up on the board. And then a, an SRE can click on one, drill down, and see what's going on. So that was really the inspiration behind this was having sort of a multi-stat panel that gave you lots of flexibility. Um, this is the uh, Sensu app, and this is connected to my Sensu services. And all you do is define the uh, Sensu API, and it will talk to a Sensu server and pull out active events, um, silences, anything that's going wrong. And then you will get an overview of critical warnings and OK. Then you have a data table down here that lets you get the events that come out of Sensu. So if you're used to using Sensu, you go to Uchiwa and you'll see um, your events on the left is numerical values. And you can click on them and then, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to navigate around. This is, gives you a, a good quick view of what's going on inside your Sensu services. Um, and then this gives a, this is a device list. And if you want to search and say, I only want to know about things that start with AT, and then you can click on them and it'll drill down to the next level. So, um, so that's a data table. That's a, uh, a data table panel available for download. The Sensu app is also down, available for download and Polyset as well. So those are the ones I wanted to show you. Um, people are using them. Um, if you haven't seen them before, check them out. If you have any bugs, recommendations, wish lists, um, send them our way. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.